What's up guys, it's Matt with Good To Go Fishing. Welcome back to another creek fishing adventure. Man, it is freaking hot out here. Right now it's 95 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. I think the fish are gonna be really sluggish. To me, that means, as much as I hate to say it, it means I gotta break out the finesse gear, throw some Senkos, some Texas rig Senkos, some, maybe some little jigs, maybe even a drop shot or something like that. I got a ton of soft plastics that I plan on throwing today and I'm hoping to catch some good fish. So this creek we're at right now, I've fished it a ton. I've caught so many freaking quality largemouth and smallmouth bass. I've caught some really nice rock bass out here as well too. But this is a stretch I haven't done. On today's little little fishing session here, I'm actually linking up with another YouTuber. His name is Creeks for Weeks. You guys should check out his stuff it's legit all he does is a lot of creek and river fishing a lot of wading he's going to do some kayaking but that dude catches some fish so i'll leave a link in the description so make sure you guys check out that video on top of that i figured that since i make so many freaking soft plastics and all sorts of other baits i'm going to hook this dude up he doesn't know it yet so i'm going to surprise him with some finesse stuff that i made we have some drop shot little worm deals right here in two different colors and a whole bunch of other stuff. I might even give them one of my chatter baits that I made just because I have so many of them. Why not give them away? Hopefully we get on a good bite. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, you know what to do. Oh, before we get started, there's one thing I got for you. I got you a present, dude. It's um, some soft plastics some finesse stuff i've never even messed with them before we got these little drop shot things here in two different colors that i was messing around with so like a clearish one and then like a natural one so you made these with your own molds and stuff yep i didn't make the molds these somebody oh. else made the molds Wait. one day i'll get in the molds <laughs> did you just do like the like the syringe and the into the mold is that how it works these are open pour ones so okay. like you take a cup and just pour it in these little tiny cavities and hope to god that <coughs> excuse me that they don't overflow because that's a mess wow. and there's one other thing dude Thanks. i have tons of chatter baits that i made like this little dude is this is what i've been catching a lot of smallmouth on especially in the last is that video what video was was it yeah this? yeah same chatter bait yeah dude i got like 20 of them but it's a different trailer that's the trailer that i made but i figured like i got so many of them dude and i've got a plan on making more of them why not give them to somebody that could use them appreciate it <laughs> no worries awesome. dude pretty deep right there yeah. that's nice that's way deeper than i thought it would be if at any point you want to use any baits that i'm using and i'm catching on just let me know dude i got plenty of pretty much everything all right, guys, I'm going to switch to the fluke. I don't think the Senko is doing very good. I think since it's getting a little bit darker out here that they might be a little bit higher up in the water column, not quite top water. The flukes just slay flat out. I wish I could use the ones that I made, but I ran out. So I'm going to go with these Zoom Super Flukes. This is white pearl color. I'm going to leave it on the same hook I was using for the Texas Rig Senko. That's another reason why I like throwing soft plastics with just a single hook. You don't really have to break off your line or cut your line to retie a different bait. You just swap out the plastic. It's pretty dope. And there's a stretch of rapids coming up here. So I imagine that there might be some bait fish up and around that area. Probably less likely to have some worms. So I like to change my baits based upon what I'm seeing in the system that I'm fishing. Like if there's logs right here, I'd probably throw a jig on or something like that, or maybe some other finesse Ned rig, weedless EWG stuff. But usually around rapids and current, especially near deeper stuff, especially next to rocks, I like to throw the bait fish profile stuff. I'll shut up now. I'm trying to over explain stuff. I always overcomplicate things, try to sound smart so people like me. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be fancy with it, and that's what I get. See you later, dude. I appreciate the fight. Damn. 
what I was doing to catch this fish is you could see this current that swoops around right here and then it goes to a deeper pool in slack water next to rocks, next to weeds. That's where they like to chill, especially in those deeper pockets. I just threw this guy out there right against the grass, twitched it two times, I believe, let it sink, and then that's when he hit it. That dude did not hesitate to slam that fluke, not one bit. I just saw a little bunch of minnows jump out of the water at, right where I threw this thing at. Oh, something hit it. Got him. I think it's a rock bass, maybe, I don't know. No, a little small, another one in that hole. A seven and a half inch fish ate a five and a half inch bait. <laughs> yes, sir. I've never seen it come out that fast. Like, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, brother. You would probably get fish off me if I hunted there, though. Well, yeah, that's... Got one. Oh, my gosh. That might be bigger than the other one. That Matt just caught a uh, half-pounder. Hold it to the camera. Make it look big. I wish my arms were longer. <laughs> See those minnows jump out? Yeah. <gasps> oh, got him! Got him? Yeah! <laughs> that was legit, dude. Did they hit it on the top one? Uh-huh. <laughs> these things fight so dang hard, dude. But these things are fun, still fun nonetheless. Yeah, this is a medium fin Fenwick HMG. I think it's like 6.6, yeah, medium fast. The reel I'm using, I love this reel. This is a Fluger President XT. I've beaten the hell out of this thing and yeah, it just works. Got him. Little smally. It it's all right. It ain't big. Ooh. Not a bad smally at all. I'll take those all day. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this. Yep. Right in that cove there. On the right side. Yeah. Are you gonna cast in there? No. Oh, you brother. I'll get on your opposite side. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't have him good. He's running right at me. A little smally. Good job, dude. Whoa. Oh my god. I was lifting up my bait to bring it out. That's a that's a good one. I think I might need. Oh man, that's good. Good fish, dude. Dude, I was I, I was lifting it up to take it uh back or to get a new cast in there. Oh my gosh, that might be might be close to my PV here. I don't think he's gonna beat my PV. I think wise. he's 16 or 17. I've never used one of these. Is that how? Yep. Oh, it's off. Seventeen. Okay. He's seventeen, buddy. Oh man, you did say seventeen or up. Here, let me watch him off. I'll get it. Oh 
man, I hope it didn't hurt him. All right, it's pretty good. <laughs> good fish, dude. Okay. All right guys, we had a good time out on the water with Creeks for Weeks. Ended up catching most of my fish on the fluke. I love throwing the fluke, especially in skinny water, skinny shallow water. That's really clear like that creek we were on earlier. Didn't catch any big ones personally, but Creeks for Weeks caught a nice 17 inch smallie on the Ned Rig. Uh, that's one thing I need to get some more confidence in and develop a little bit more patience because man, I just get so frustrated getting them snagged up all the time and uh, just generally not catching big fish on them. Not to say it can't be done. I'm just one of those things I need to work on. Hopefully in an upcoming video, I'm going to make some Cinco's and some Ned Rigs and take them out on the creek and hopefully catch a giant. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, you guys know what to do. We'll catch you on the next one.